I call um, Todd Muller. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I uh, stand uh, to Mr. Speaker. I stand to speak in favour of the Environment Canopy Transitional Government Arrangements Bill, uh, and I uh, am looking forward to be able to retort some of the shrill hyperbole that I've had to listen to over the last uh, quarter of an hour or 20 minutes. And let's actually start this conversation going back in a little bit of history. Prior to 2010, the environment Canterbury set up was appalling. And over the, on the other side, they talk about the importance of participation. They had councils across that region who wouldn't talk to each other, couldn't get together around a water plan, weren't progressing the natural resource framework for their region. And they talk now about it uh, being denied them. It was a complete uh, uh, stuff up of a setup, uh, Mr. Speaker. And I say that deliberately. And, and they know it. And they l put their heads in shame. And we have put in since 2010 commissioners who have applied phenomenal experience and competency to highly technical and difficult issues of natural resource management in the Canterbury region. And they have created a framework zone by zone, community by community, a Maori participation by Maori participation. Everything that they call for on the other side, we have created under the leadership of, of, of environment commissioners who have brought incredible skill and expertise. Dame Margaret Baisley, Honourable David Carter, uh, Professor uh, uh, Peter Skilton. These people have a assisted the community in developing a framework that will resolve uh, natural resources in the community. And to hear them stood on the other side that say that somehow the elections are cancelled. Well, there are seven directly elected councils that this bill enables. But what we are doing is sensible common sense management. When you have a, essentially a, a board in the form of these commissioners with the capability that they have brought to this, uh, uh, to this region, in the middle of a, of a process to identify water use that is completely um, uh, progressing with their oversight, to completely separate them from that process uh, is ignorant, Mr Speaker. And that is why I am hugely supportive of this model, because there will be direct elections. I think they need to read the bill. There will be direct elections, seven. And those seven will be augmented with the skills that we have seen uh, be applied to the Canterbury region over the last, over the last uh, six years. And they can cry all they want, but at the end of the day, what counts is outcomes for Canterbury. And under this uh, environment Canterbury regime, we have delivered outcomes uh, for Canterbury. We have put talent in place, capability in place. Order. That it Order. Now, I've cautioned members about using the word lying. And 48-1, um, very clear in speaker's rulings. I don't want to hear it again. It's happened on a number of occasions. That word is out of order and unparliamentary. I don't want to hear it again. Uh, the member will stand and withdraw those comments and apologise for them. I stand, withdraw and apologise. May I explain? No. I explain. End of, no. End of... End of I am, I've, we've ruled on that. Todd Muller has a call. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. Uh, so, in conclusion, Mr Speaker, I uh, uh, very much stand in support of this bill. Uh, I acknowledge the uh, uh, leadership uh, of both the Minister and Scott Simpson, who has been appallingly maligned. He has assisted, I think, a very effective reflection on what the appropriate way forward is here, and uh, the Select Committee, uh, by majority, were very supportive of what we uh, bring back to the House. It's sensible for Canterbury. It is transitional. It takes the best of the current model, welds it uh, to, uh, to direct elections, and has a transition through to a 2019 outcome, which will be uh, uh, fully elected. I, think it, I, I, I believe it will deliver a fantastic result for Canterbury, and I am very, very pleased to be able to support it. Thank you, Mr Speaker.